Here we have a Volkswagen Crafter van and the customer has this stereo that's uh, been fitted to his uh, van already. It's an Android system. So it's one of these Chinese Android systems that you could get on eBay or Amazon. Um, he's finding it very glitchy, not really happy with it at all. Radio reception is really poor. Uh, the menu system, he just doesn't get on with it at all. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be taking this out completely and uh, be fitting a branded Alpine stereo. So once we've um, had the stereo fitted, we'll show you how that is and how that works. But this is all, this is all built in to be part of the stereo. Let me have a look. I mean, it's a nice looking thing, I must admit. The way, the way they've developed it and the way they've designed it is actually quite nice and it looks all flush and it is, it is nice, but unfortunately the software is really not up to it. So hence why the customer wants this removed and a new stereo put in. So I'll show you once the Alpine's in. Right, it's all done, it's all installed. So we went for the Alpine ILX F905D, which is a nine inch floating head unit um, developed by Alpine. Now this, you could actually adjust the actual angling position if you want to, and you can actually drop the screen as well if you wanted to. So if you think it's a bit too high up, but it's like a nice position to, to have. So you've got a real nice nine inch screen um, and obviously manufactured by Alpine. So it works all the time. You've got the controls there to actually then change whatever you want to change to. Um, it has wireless Apple CarPlay. It has wired um, Android Auto, normal radio, um, DAB radio. Um, so you go for the list and that's the DAB radio. And then you go into a normal radio. And it's just so easy to use because that's your main menu button there. So if you want to flick into something else, you just flick onto it. Um, and if you want to just listen to the radio, it's just there. Um, the factory steering wheel controls will still work. And the reverse camera that we've put on there. So that's a massive improvement from this Android system. Even though I do like the way they developed it, I do like the way that it looks, but unfortunately the interface isn't correct. Um, also with this vehicle, it has an SOS button. Um, I should have showed you that on another video. And we had to put an interface in there to stop that from causing a warning light on the dash. And it just comes up as big SOS. Um, so with this in there, as it was, it kept on creating that every time we turned the ignition on. Um, so we had to put another um, interface into it to prevent that from happening. And that also applies to the Volkswagen Transporter T6.1, uh, which most of them have that as well. So you need that additional interface. But that's all been installed. No longer have that SOS warning light now and it all works as intended. So this is the Volkswagen Crafter and we fitted the Alpine ILX F905D, which is a nine inch floating head unit.